In this video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna get the best photos. Take a field trip with me to downtown Los Angeles. You're gonna get the best photos, the best backdrops. You're gonna get them original, different than everyone else, and you're gonna get them the cheapest. So let's get started on this little field trip that I'm gonna go look for a record cover, album packaging, world tour, t-shirt design, backdrops for my photo shoot for my client that's coming out with new music later this year. Listen, I can't say whom because this person hasn't yet announced their new music and tour and all that stuff, but I can still go and show you the shopping for the shoot. Now, we're gonna go over five points in this video and this is gonna help you find the better backdrops yourself, get it at the best price, you're gonna know what to look for and you're gonna know when to get it cheaper and you're gonna know how I store it. We're going to downtown LA, which in this photo is this side. It would be like right here. I decided to go to downtown LA because I'm in Los Angeles and it's easy to go shop there and it's more cost effective. For the people that are not in LA, that you're not in New York City, you're not in Philly or any other big city in the country or in the world, you do have your small mom and pop shops. But the first thing is originality. I'm a big, big fan of supporting your local mom and pop camera stores, but when you go there, or if you go on Amazon, and it's so convenient, it comes right to your doorstep, everything looks the same. But if you're trying to create a whole different mood, sometimes you have to go outside of what is available on Amazon, and outside of what is available in your local camera stores. But please try to support the local camera stores as much as you can. Garment District in downtown LA are multiple streets and multiple blocks. You might only get five stores. Still, go visit and go, you know, support them. We want to make sure that our backdrops look different. It's just one tiny little element that, hey, it's different than the next photographer. So you can't compare us. So if their prices are here and I'm charging this much, that's because the service that I provide is different than the other photographers. I still support them, but we are not the same. That's the first thing is originality. The second thing is cost effectiveness. Now, if I'm going in the garment district, there are so many stores. I'll drive down and I'll just kind of get the vibe of the city. Every city has energy and a vibe at different times. And I'll go and I'll drive around, I'll see what kind of day it is and what kind of music they're blasting, what kind of people are walking around. That helps inspire me. But I also go park all the way at the end because I wanna go ahead and walk back in to the city center. And when I do that, I get to see all the stores. But I also know that a certain percentage of all the stores are duplicates. So once you've seen eight to 10 stores, they're all gonna be the same. Now it's a matter of who's got the better quality of something, who's gonna work with you, who is friendlier, who's gonna give you the better price. And I'll actually start touching the material. It's important for you to touch. It's important for you to feel things. Although it might be a couple bucks a yard cheaper, at one store versus another, you might get like a really cheap material, which is gonna suck because you're going to be ironing and steaming a lot more. You're not gonna get the light to reflect the better way. So it's very cost effective. It's also very cost effective when you do this that you can get multiple yards. So this is what they sell. This is what they are experts in. They just keep selling it in multiple yards because it's ideally going to designers. The average price that you see is per yard. So it might say $8.99, $15.99, $3.99, that's per yard. And you gotta ask the yard in length, but you gotta get the width too, because not all the rolls are exactly the same. When you're shooting, you wanna make sure that, okay, what does it look like? If the model hangs and uh, stands in front of it, do I need one roll wide or do I need two rolls wide? Can I cheat it with Photoshop? Can I cheat it with lighting? Is one enough or is it not enough? Or do I have to roll it out this way and then maybe I'll get the, the width that I need? Do you need width or do you need length? Some people need both. Now, what if you don't have a garment district in your neighborhood? There are textile stores. The other part that makes shopping at the garment district or these clothing shops more effective is that paper is constantly thrown out. So when we use the paper backdrops for a photo shoot, once you step on it, it's done. Like there's footprints and it's crinkled and I can't smooth that back out. So we just cut across and then we have new paper coming down. Eventually that runs out. Eventually you have to keep buying new rolls, 35, 45, 85 bucks per roll, depending on the brand and the width and the length and all of that. It's also cost effective because you get to store it. And that's going to be part number three. Where do you store this? And should you, how long should you keep them? Well, you're gonna see. It's a stack and it's just a stack of cloth and you put them in a big Tupperware that I would say just put in something like that and that's five, eight bucks and then you forever have it and it's great. And it's also 
very cost effective when you buy them and you buy them off season. If I'm looking for something super red in sequence, or I'm looking for something that I could use possibly for Christmas, but I got it in January, they're gonna sell that to me in January for maybe 50, 75% off. So it's okay if you take those and you're like, cool, I'm gonna buy three yards of this, I'm gonna fold it up and I'm gonna use it. And the thing about storage is that you don't have to worry about them being wrinkled. You got a steamer, you could do so much with it. Consider textile backdrops and yours is gonna be different than mine. Mine is gonna be different than your friend and their friend and their friend. And that's what's so cool about it because as fashions go in and out, you can find a wall with fur behind you. You can get these curtains. Stand out, be different. I have something free for you. I have a photographer survival package that's free for you. You're gonna get a lot of cheat sheets, a lot of worksheets, a lot of freebies, a lot of tips. Whenever I release, and it's free, and you can sign up in the, uh, in the description down below. But I'll tell you why it's really important. Number one, you can unsubscribe at any point. Number two, your information is never sold. It's always with me. It's in this computer and that's it. I don't give it to anybody. I really, really respect your privacy. The other thing is sometimes when I release a podcast or a YouTube video like this, then the people in the newsletter and only the people in the newsletter get like a freebie worksheet off of it or uh, some kind of a cheat sheet or infographic or whatever might be appropriate. You, don't you want that? You want that to help you grow your business. Speaking of growing your business, when you sign up for my photographer survival package, you're gonna get a one-time offer for my photography pricing course. When I tell you the amount of photographers are like, Walid, I don't know how to charge, so I don't. And no one else in my market charges, so I won't either. Oh my God, you're gonna go broke. You're gonna go out of business or never even get into business. I wanna teach you how to make money, full-time money doing something you love, like me. All right, the fourth part that we're gonna go into is what is good. So when you see me shopping around, you see me, sometimes I'll take something outside and I wanna know how it reflects in the sunlight. And then I may take something right underneath the doorway because I wanna see what it's like in indirect sunlight, maybe a cloudy day. Then I might take a picture of it with my iPhone flash on. I wanna know what strobe does to it because what you have in front of you is not what the camera is gonna see. So it's your job as the photographer, the director, videographer to look and to test these out. They're very accustomed to creatives coming in and trying this out, trying it out, like literally wrapping around their arm or their waist and seeing if it's perfect for a dress or a suit. You are no different than that. So you wanna make sure that you test out every single cloth. Sometimes, Something is really, really ugly in person, but it's so beautiful outside. And you're like, oh my God, the way the sun hits this and it inspires an idea. I also go like this, I'll go like this and I'll crunch it. If the wrinkles stay, it's gonna give you a lot of problems on set. If the wrinkles for the most part fall back into their normal position, it's worth paying a few extra bucks because that's gonna save you so much time in steaming and getting a PA to like smooth that out or in post in Photoshop, which is horrible. I also shop by putting my hand up against it. So if let's just say this is a roll of black cotton, this is what it is, okay? I'll put my hand against it and I'm like, oh, that's not really good. If the model, if the talent is like my skin tone, I'll go like this and I'll put on the next thing and I'll put on the next thing. I'm like, oh no, this doesn't look good against skin or it doesn't look good against this. So I'll always do it that way. I will never really just take a picture with of just the garment. What's the best way to get your prices? I, I think I mentioned a little bit earlier, the first price is not the price you should end up in. They are happy to make deals. They negotiate all day. They sell in bulk all day. This is what the culture of this area is about. So you do negotiate, but you wanna be respectful. If something is $10 a roll, you should theoretically get it for about $7 a roll. Unless you buy a whole bunch, then they might drop it down to like six. You can get like a 30% discount. I think that that's very safe and that's fair. If you get a 10% discount, you could have got more out of it because they set the prices with haggling in mind. So they will set their prices up here to bring it right back down to what they need. And all your backdrops can be carried in one little Tupperware. You need a steamer, you need some water, a jug of water, and you need one Tupperware and you could probably put like 50 different backdrops in there. I just wanted to take you guys on this field trip with me. I think that you should also watch this video. This video is gonna help you just run a better set and you're gonna get to see me shoot. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk with you next time. Subscribe to this channel, leave any comments if you have questions.